Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Well, episode three, we're rolling right into this one. We're doing a little bit of a thing where we're recording these in advance a little bit, trying to get ahead of the curve on uh, on these uh, videos and everything. And So if there's anything you need to comment at us on episode two, and expect us to have seen it and react to it by this episode, fortunately that's not possible. Because episode two ain't out when we're recording this. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. So... And you have to wait till episode people. four to see any results. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be like episode four. We're gonna talk about the comments we had in episode two. We're gonna talk about the ones you had in episode three. Trying to get to where where you can not have to do everything last minute here. This show is so good at completely overturning expectations and doing it in a good way. The last episode is like, oh, he's gonna join this club and they're gonna be saved and all that. It's like, unfortunately, no, or maybe fortunately, no. I don't know. Maybe it'll inspire those kids in that classroom to get off their asses and actually do something. So like, if you're going to have a club like that, make that a club. Be like the Goofing Off Club, where we discuss and uh, plan, plan over our favorite ways to waste time or something like that. That could be a club, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. But we have a episode queued yeah, up You here. could literally call it like whatever you wanted that sounded legitimate, like something less creepy than Telepathy Club, you know? Yeah. And then you could just go around to people that you're trying to recruit and just be like, look, it's literally just a club so that we can chill after school for a few hours and not have anybody bother us. And I think you'd have more people sign up that way than you yeah. would, uh, you know, just being like, it's the telepathy club. You're really going to like it. I swear. <laughs> anyway, we got uh, episode three here. So we got it up on screen. Let's give it a watch see what happens. Here we go. Fight on! Psychic powers don't make a man appealing. <laughs> So in order to change this aspect of myself, I joined the Body Improvement Club. Stamina zero percent. There is something wrong with him. I mean, who would choose the Body Improvement Club over us? Let it go. What's done is done. Let's not dwell on it. Come on, it's your turn, President Karata. Huh? Why did you join the Body Improvement Club? Because I've never been the most athletic guy, and, and I'm a really slow runner. I've always relied on my psychic powers for everything. I don't even know if you really do have psychic powers. Prove it! <laughs> well... So was that enough? Whoa, oh, Teddy! Seriously? <laughs> it could only been spoons before! <laughs> Please help me make my dream come true. Huh? Believe it or not, my dream is to make contact and have initial interplanetary dialogue with extraterrestrial life forms. Let's research telepathy together, seek out new life, and boldly go where no man has gone before. Can't. I've got to go pump some iron. What? You're kidding. I'm burning with passion here. Why are you so indifferent? Because I finally found something that I want to do. Is there someone's mind you want to read in particular? Uh, Maybe a girl? Uh, <laughs> mob, mob, mob. You are so easy to read. May I ask you a question? Is something troubling you? You aren't laughing or smiling. It must be hard dealing with family issues. Actually, I don't have any. What I meant to say was, it must be your health. No. It's about love. That's amazing. How did you know? Oh. Come with me. It's easy to see okay. she's like fishing. You'll be popular. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> <laughs> Belong to a brand new religious order that came into existence last month. Religious order? Yes. It's called LOL. Founded by our leader, Master <laughs> Dimple. It's the happiest, trendiest, most wow. satisfying gathering of the century. So how do I become popular? <laughs> now, now, don't be so hasty. LOL is in no way a suspicious group, so make yourself at home. <laughs> LOL. Hurry! I have no idea what's going on. I'm Mizato from your homeroom class. Oh, oh, I've never talked to her before. Did they lure you in? Well, actually... She's here! It's Master Dimple! <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> You're all smiling so brightly! 
Today, we have three new smile mates joining our congregation. Like our brethren here already know, to have a happy life, you must have a hearty laugh. That is the teaching of LOL. Get real. Who might this be? We found him sleeping on a park bench under some newspapers. <laughs> no resistance. And that brings us to the uh. good. It appears you have something to say. I'm Mazzato, year two, class one. Salt Middle School's uh. ace reporter. I'm here to investigate the bad rumor concerning this organization. That you're using hypnosis to brainwash people, then forcing them to join your cult. Sparkle! <laughs> now look at that smile! He's laughing. He has finally let go and is truly grasping happiness. I wonder if it's like a hypnosis thing now, inside of it. My mistake. So if you'll excuse me, I'll just be- That won't do. You infiltrated LOL, doubting our smiles for no reason, insulting our beliefs and our congregation. We won't let you leave until you laugh. I... I don't really feel like laughing now. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what is this? Huh? I'm... No. Don't. But no, I don't actually want to smile. I can't control it. So the theme here is smiling and happiness. It doesn't have anything to do with being popular. May I leave now then? He's not smiling. Does that mean the smile mask didn't work on him? You are missing out. People define missing out differently. <gasps> yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. I can't let this stupid kid mess this up for me. You misunderstand. I simply want you to know just how wonderful it is to smile, that's all. It's okay, don't worry about it. Would you like to play a game before you leave? A staring contest competing with three of my smile leaders. You'll all drink some milk and the first to laugh and spit it up loses. If you laugh, you lose. Why did you accept the <laughs> challenge? It just so happens Mob loves milk. Ready? Go! <laughs> What? Why? I'll throw him into a smiley maelstrom, the likes of which... No. Oh, I see. <laughs> Forcing my congregation to laugh all the time backfired. You'll have to face me now. <sighs> of course, this time... The milk has a little extra kick to it. That wasn't laughter. He's gonna break what there. The, there it is. He mean? broke it. I knew it. He broke the. He broke the delicate or the uh, <gasps> curse. The, he couldn't possibly have undone my hypnosis. Ah. But why can't I make him laugh? You don't have a single enemy here, so why are you fighting? We only want to save you from yourself. Come on, already. Get a clue. <laughs> Uh oh, you leave me damn. Little choice. he just skipped up yeah, to from 58 to 74. Yeah, Start laughing! <laughs> Why? Why aren't you laughing? Are you trying to tell me that my powers don't work on you? It's not like I'm fighting it. I just can't, okay? You must not have any emotions, brat. With a personality such as yours, you won't be able to laugh with the girl you like. But you're not Ooh, able to do it at all. Close. You'll never laugh together, cry together, or be moved emotionally in any way. You'll be alone forever. Oh, oh shit. Is it? Why don't you make me laugh with your psychic powers? You're not even a person. I'm glad that the one who said something as horrible as get a clue was an evil spirit. Oh. My followers, do not oh. let him leave this place alive! As he grew older and became more aware, he came to realize just how dangerous his powers were. While attempting to spare the world around him, Mob's aversion to using his powers has become a complex. Emotions locked away deep inside his heart expand little by little, moment by moment. However, there's a limit to how much his emotions can take before leaking out and going wild. Going past the limit. Here we go. Uh-oh. That emotion 
is rage. If the policy of your religion is to kill outsiders, come at me with everything you've got. You might find that task a hell of a lot easier than making me laugh. I'm only going to need about two seconds to make you disappear, brat! Don't act like you're actually angry! You should try to cry! Uh oh What the hell? <laughs> You're missing... <gasps> Drop something? Never thought I'd have to fight anyone with the fullest extent of my power! What? No way! <gasps> These are my emotions, satisfied. <sighs> you some kind of monster? No! Oh! Razor Beam! I'm terrible. Oh. Oh. oh, that was sick. Well, social skills like that are beyond your level of comprehension. Only ones capable of them have common sense and experience. And after all, your whole existence makes no sense, so. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Master Dimple is passed out. Did he always look like that? He just wanted all of them to depend on him. <laughs> it's a popular con based on crowd psych. Mob Donald. Saitama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saitama says, recycle. Today you were able to save a group of people that only you could have saved. So you should be proud of yourself. Aww. I'm guessing he's gonna have multiple explosions throughout Lovely the show. Day, isn't it, partner? Uh. Oh yep. hell! <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yep, I still love it. I still do too. Awesome. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> mob Psycho. Uh, again, Mob showing off, but this time he experienced an explosion of emotions and basically mopped the floor with that some bitch. And he was just like boop and then just the dude exploded. I mean, I guess it just goes to show you mob really hasn't had to touch anybody, but I guess he's just like, you know what, I don't want to end this early. I got a big day tomorrow. Boop and he's dead. That's that's how it goes. But yeah, I I still love this show, man. I still love it, I, like you were saying. And I'm gonna have to tell Andrew who needs to watch this because he really likes One Punch Man. I think he will like it. Yeah, I think he will. It's just got a you know similar comedy style and vibe, obviously, just being by the same creator. I honestly, think there's a chance I could end up liking this even more than One Punch Man, though. You think? Might not be the popular opinion, but it might end up being what I think. Honestly, yeah. it's... I still love One Punch Man, but... Yeah. Like, this is damn good so far. It is. Hmm. It's tremendous. It's like, there's a... It, it's not quite the same, but it's like... There's almost a bit of, like, an Invader Zim, like... Echo, like, in the background for just the vibe it gives off. Yeah. If that makes any sense at all. No, no, no. I get what you're saying. Like, I don't know if the audience will think that makes sense or not. It's not really Jonah Vasquez style humor or anything, but... It's delivery. Yeah, it's just like visual stuff and everything, you know. It's like such a visual styled thing. And One Punch Man was similar, but One Punch Man kind of... It has that visual style, but it's also based a little more strongly into classic anime style, if that makes any sense. Whereas this is more unrestrained with that stylization, if that makes any sense. Yeah. And it's just like that, that, that way that Jonah Vasquez does his stuff. It's like so uniquely signature, like his signatures on like every fucking pen stroke and like all of his stuff basically. And that's what this feels like from like the original, creator basically to me is it feels like he signed a signature all over this and, and I, I enjoy that signature if that makes sense well if i'm noticing anything uh in terms of the animes that one that this artist or that this writer is taking uh, is making parodies of one punch man is a parody of basically every shonen anime mm. you know super overpowered hero 
who doesn't realize it, you know, who is like way too powerful and is pissed off because of it. And then here, this is parodying like a slice school, of life. Yeah, school anime as well as paranormal, uh, like investigator anime. School paranormal slice of life stuff. Yeah. And honestly, I I get I like it a lot. I get the uh, the whole thing with the uh, with how they're doing the comedy. And <laughs> God, dude, this show. What what can we say about this show? It's plus, it's just Arkansas. like the animations and stuff look like things that played out in my head back in the day, like when I was really imaginative, like in middle school and high school and stuff. Yeah, it's like I always wanted to make like something that looked kind of like this in terms of like just a super badass character that was just like so powerful that they like touch the dude and he just in a circle, you know, or like you know. The, something came at them and just like fucking tried to hit them and like lost their limbs and shit just from trying to attack them. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I like those super powerful edgelord characters to an extent. Like I like sometimes. them when it's, I like them when it's more like it, it doesn't do the t- typical thing where they're so OP and then all of a sudden they beat the bad guy. And then, you know, it's just like huh, all in a day's work. Yeah. It's almost like the, you know, the boss, you know, the blonde haired guy, forget his name, uh, but uh, Reagan. Reagan, thank yeah. you. That Reagan is how the OP main character would act, but the, uh, but, you know, Mob's abilities and everything is like the actual, like, OP protagonist. That it, and also, when I was thinking about a lot of that stuff, I always saw it in terms of like more like a video game type thing, like the protagonist of a video game. Like, uh, I like the idea of like sort of power fantasy style video games, kind of like Doom 2016, like where you're just fucking slaughtering legions of demons. Yeah. Uh, stuff like uh, Devil May Cry, you know, where you're being all stylish and shit. And you're <laughs> just like a super edge lord, basically. Yeah. Um, and it's harder to make that work in terms of telling a story with a show because you end up with, like, one of my least favorite superheroes, which is Superman, because, yeah, he's overpowered and shit, but, like, he's so overpowered that it's, like, kind of boring because there's no stakes. Yeah. Um, or even, like, Dragon Ball Z, where they kind of, like you know, goofed and sort of made everybody so overpowered and gave them an out for anybody dying that it kind of removed the stakes after a while as well. Yeah. But, like, this is cool because it being in the the comedy aspect, it's not taking itself 100% seriously, so it's like you can have that sort of ridiculous, cool, awesome, overpowered character, but you're not trying to be serious with it, so it doesn't... It's like it's not that big of a deal, you know, like yeah. in terms of the storytelling aspect. Well, that's uh, just my sort of amateur analyzation of it. I uh, guess that's perfectly fine with the analyzation there. So, I I don't know what's gonna happen next with Mob. I know that it seems like the ghost that he slew is now basically following him around, and be like, "Hey, buddy." How you doing? How's it going? <laughs> and I guess now that guy's going to be, or that ghost is going to be a little bit more of a permanent staple with Mob wherever he goes. I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess, guess we'll that's see. like the new sidekick, side character, or whatever. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see. But I think that's going to do it for this one. This was Mob Psycho, Episode 3, An Invite to a Meeting. Simply put, I just want to be popular. So, um... Thank you all very much for tuning in, and uh, I guess until next time, we will see you then. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you, everybody. Peace.